Hey, this is the Hydro Cultivator here from thehydrocultivator.com. And I'm showing a video of the DFT build number one. And this is the complete system. It should be the final video on this build. I've had a chance to grow several crops of lettuce and a lot of other different plants in this unit just to see what it's capable of. And so far I'm pretty pleased with it. I've added a shelf and a lid since it was first created. And I'll give you a better overview of the whole system here. Mounted a little uh, temperature and humidity monitor here to give me some input on conditions inside. Of course it's using the iGrow magnetic induction lighting. That's only 200 watts of power. And then the rest of the lighting comes from the outdoor light. And I've been able to grow quite a few different crops in it so far. Everything from lemon basil, thyme, oregano, several different kinds of peppers, lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, basil. So it's pretty versatile. And the addition of the trellises that were shown in an earlier video have proven to be very helpful. Uh, they're definitely needed for some of the bigger crops like the peppers. And I'll get a little more specific in this video, more so than some of the past videos. Uh, right here, there's an air line going in, and I have that on several of the tubes with an air stone inside to better oxygenate the water. Uh, that's running off of an eco air pump. And the thing next to it is a moisture meter. Since this is indoors in a house on carpet, I wanted to make sure that if there was ever a leak, I'd get an alert. Of course, that's a polyethylene plastic lid, which is the same material as the new shelf edition. The shelf's pretty handy. Uh, right now, we're setting it up for sprouting. And the lid was cut away to allow lines for the pump, as well as the temperature gauge of the reservoir. And the actual reservoir itself is a 60 gallon tank which gives me a little more flexibility uh, right now I'm running at about 40 gallons uh, but it's, it's a little bit nicer to run at the higher higher gallons you don't have to mess with pH adjustments as frequently And a little teaser here, this is the newest uh, addition to the room here. It's a little aquaponics setup. Uh, I got a nice UFO LED light and growing some bok choy. And just got a little few small fish in there. Uh, just mainly an experimental thing. Uh, more details on this build are available at thehydrocultivator.com if you want to know how to do it. It's pretty simple. But the main benefits of this unit, and what I think I'll use it for mainly in the future, is mostly salad greens. Uh, it's just more efficient, you can harvest a lot more. That seems to be what's set up best for as far as the hole spacing. Uh, the peppers are nice, but they do take a really long time. And since it's indoors, you don't really get the high temperatures that help peppers grow. So mainly growing peppers was just an experiment to see what this unit was capable of. And the inside. It's got about, I'd say 35 gallons of water in it right now. Uh, running dual air stones. I'm really doing a little more air than it needs, uh, but this one right here is a micro pour air stone. So that gets it really well oxygenated. And that's compared to that, which is just a regular air stone. So I'm probably overdoing it on the water, but I don't think, or on the air, but I don't think you can really have too much air. Helps keep the 
solution from going bad, I think. So anyway, that's the DFT build number one from thehydrocultivator.com. Got plans available on the website if this is something you're interested in building for yourself. It's a pretty adaptable system. Each of the tubes can be disconnected for cleaning or portability. It's all bolted together. If I ever have to move, I can take this unit without too much trouble. It also makes it a little better for cleaning than if it had all been cemented together. So anyway, check out thehydrocultivator.com. Thanks for watching.